पेज एटी फोर लेसन सेवन फेयर प्ले बाय प्रेमचंद बिफोर यू रीड हैज योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड एवर डन समथिंग यू थॉट वॉज रॉन्ग वॉट डिड यू डू देन डिड यू कीप क्वाइट और डिड यू टेल योर फ्रेंड वॉट यू थॉट रीड दिस स्टोरी अबाउट टू फ्रेंड्स हु हैड टू डिसाइड वॉट वॉज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रेंडशिप एंड एनिमिटी और अ सेंस ऑफ वॉट इज राइट एंड वॉट इज रॉन्ग पार्ट वन वन Jumman Sheikh and Algu Chaudhary were good friends. So strong was their bond of friendship that when either of them went away from the village, the other looked after his family. Both were greatly respected in the village. 2. Jumman had an old aunt who had some property. This she transferred to him on the understanding that she would stay with him and he would look after her. The arrangement worked well for a couple of years. Then the situation changed. Juman and his family were tired of the old relative. Juman became as indifferent to her as his wife, who grudged even the little food that the old lady wanted every day. She swallowed these insults along with her food for a few months. But patience has its limits. difficult words in the box became indifferent means lost interest in or did not care for grudged gave unwillingly felt angry or unhappy about giving swallowed these insults means tolerated them page 85 3 one day she spoke to jumman my son It is now obvious that I am not wanted in your house. Kindly give me a monthly allowance so that I can set up a separate kitchen. My wife knows best how to run the house. Be patient," said Juman shamelessly. This made his aunt very angry and she decided to take her case to the village panchayat. 4 For. For many days the old lady was seen talking to the villagers explaining her case and seeking their support some sympathized with her others laughed at her and few others advised her to make it up with her nephew and his wife at last she came to algu chaudhary and spoke to him you know chachi jumman is my best friend how can i go against him algu said but is it right my son to keep mum and not say what you consider just and fair pleaded the old lady come to the panchayat and speak the truth she said algu didn't reply but her words kept ringing in his ears page 86 part 2 5 the panchayat was held the same evening under an old banyan tree Juman stood up and said the voice of the panch is the voice of god let my aunt nominate the head panch i will abide by her decision difficult words in the box in page 86 make it up means stop quarreling or come to an agreement with mum means quiet or silent page 87 6 The punch knows neither friend nor enemy. What do you say to Algu Chaudhary? The old lady announced. Fine, replied Juman, hiding his joy over his unexpected piece of luck. Chachi, you are aware of my friendship with Juman, said Algu. I know that, replied the aunt. But I also know that you will not kill your conscience for the sake of friendship. God lives in the heart of the punch, and his voice is the voice of God. and the old lady explained her case juman said algu you and i are old friends your aunt is as dear to me as you now i am a punch you and your aunt are equal before me what have you to say in your defense 3 years ago began juman my aunt transferred her property to me i promised to support her as long as she lived i have done all i could There have been a couple of quarrels between my wife and her but I can't stop it 
Now my aunt is claiming a monthly allowance from me. This is not possible. That's all I have to say. 7. Jumman was cross-examined by Algu and others. Then Algu announced, We have gone into the matter carefully. In our opinion, Jumman must pay his aunt a monthly allowance or else the property goes back to her. Difficult words in the box in page 87. Nominate means purpose or suggest someone's name for something. Abide by. Accept. Page 88. 8. Now the two friends were seldom seen together. The bond of friendship between them was broken. In fact, Jumman was Algu's enemy and wanted his revenge. Part 3 9. Days passed and as ill luck would have it, Algu Chaudhary found himself in a tight spot. One of his fine pair of bullocks died and he sold the other to Samju Sahu, a cart driver of the village. The understanding was that Sahu would pay the price of the bullock in a month's time. It so happened that the bullock died within a month. 10. Several months after the bullock's death, Algu reminded Sahu of the money he hadn't yet paid. Sahu got very annoyed. I can't pay you a penny for the wretched beast you sold me. He brought us nothing but ruin. I have a bullock. Use it for a month and then return it to me. No money for the dead bullock, he said angrily. 11. Algu decided to refer the case to the panchayat. For a second time in a few months, preparations for holding the panchayat were made and both the parties started meeting people seeking their support. Difficult words in the box, page 88. Seldom means rarely. Tight spot means difficult situation. Page 89 12. The panchayat was held under the old banyan tree. Algu stood up and said, The voice of the panch is the voice of God. Let Sahu nominate the head panch. I will abide by his decision. 13. Sahu saw his chance and proposed the name of Jumman. Algu's heart sank and he turned pale. But what could he do? 14. The moment Jumman became head punch, he realized his responsibility as judge and the dignity of his office. Could he, seated in that high place, have his revenge now? He thought and thought. No, he must not allow his personal feelings to come in the way of speaking the truth and doing justice. Page 90 15. Both Algu and Sahu stated their cases. They were cross-examined and the case was considered deeply. Then Jumman stood up and announced, It is our opinion that Sahu should pay Algu the price of the bullock. When Sahu bought the bullock, it suffered from no disability or disease. The death of the bullock was unfortunate, but Algu cannot be blamed for it. Algu could not contain his feelings. He stood up and said loudly over and over again, Victory to the Panchayat. This is justice. God lives in the voice of the Panch. 16. Soon after, Juman came to Algu, embraced him and said, Since the last Panchayat, I had become your enemy. Today I realized what it meant to be a Panch. A Panch has no friend nor enemy. He knows only justice. Let no one deviate from the path of justice and truth for friendship or enmity. Algu embraced his friend and wept, and his tears washed away all the dirt of misunderstanding between them. Page 91 Working with the text A. Match the sentences under 1 with those under 2. 1. Jumman and Algu were the best of friends. 2. Jumman's aunt transferred her property to him. 3. The aunt decided to appeal to the panchayat. 4. Algu was unwilling to support the aunt. 5. Jumman was very happy to hear Algu's name as head punch. Now, under 2. 
to be matched with. One, he believed that his friends would never go against him. Two, she wanted justice. Three, in the absence of one, the other took care of his family. Four, the condition was that he would be responsible for her welfare. Five, the bond of friendship between him and Juman was very strong. B. Who says this to whom and why? 1. My wife knows best how to run the house. 2. But it is right, my son, to keep mum and not say what you consider just and fair. 3. What have you to say in your defence? 4. I can't pay you a penny for the wretched beast you sold me. 5. Victory to the Panchayat. This is justice. C. Answer the following questions. 1. Then the situation changed. What is being referred to? 2. 2. When Jumman's aunt realised that she was not welcome in his house, what arrangement did she suggest? 3. Page 92 3. What was the villagers' reaction when the aunt explained her case to them? 4. 4. Why was Jumman happy over Algu's nomination as head punch? 6. 5. God lives in the heart of the punch, the aunt said. What did she mean? 6. 6. What was the Algu's verdict as head punch? How did Jumman take it? 7. 8. 7. Algu found himself in a tight spot. What was his problem? 9. 8. Why was Algu upset over Jumman's domination as head punch? 12. 13. 9. What was Jumman's verdict as head punch? How did Algu take it? 14. 15. 10. Which of the following sums up the story best? 1. I also know that you will not kill your conscience for the sake of friendship. 2. Let no one deviate from the path of justice and truth for friendship or enmity. 3. The voice of the punch is the voice of God. Give a reason for your choice. Working with language A. Replace the italicized portion of the each sentence here with a suitable phrase from the box. Make necessary changes wherever required. Words in the box are Look after Swallow Make it up Keep mum Go into each one's conscience As ill luck would have it A tight spot Take chances My heart sank. 1. The best way to avoid an unnecessary argument is to remain silent. 2. Unfortunately, the train I was trying to catch was cancelled. Page 93 3. He has been told not to take risks while driving a car through a crowded street. 4. The patient needs to be properly taken care of. 5. Why don't the two of you end your quarrel by shaking hands? 5. I was in a difficult situation till my friends came to my rescue. 7. When I saw a pile of dirty dishes, I felt very disappointed. 8. I will examine the matter carefully before commenting on it. 9. They criticized him in the meeting, but he accepted without protest all the criticism. 10. It will free me from worry to know that I had done nothing wrong. B. Look at the following phrases and their meanings. Use the phrases to fill in the blanks in the sentences given below. Set up. Set aside. Set down. Set out. Set in. These are to be matched with. Put in place or start. Save or keep for a particular purpose. Write or record. Start on a journey. Begin and seem likely to continue. 1. Why don't you blank your ideas on paper? 2. A fund has been blank for the soldiers' families. 3. We should blank a little money every month. 4. 
You should buy some woolens before winter. Blank. Five. They blank on the last stage of their journey. Page ninety four. Speaking and writing. A. Look at the following picture. One asks a question. The other answers it. Then the answer is noted in a form as shown here. Girl one, do you like to meet people? Girl two, yes, I do, but not always. I do have some close friends, though. Girl three, kindly write it in the form. Questions. One, do you like to meet people? Two, do you like the area you live in? Yes or no. Yes, I do, but not always. No, I don't. Additional response: I do have some close friends, though, but I have no choice. B. Work in small groups. Ask your partner the questions given here. If possible, ask him or her a reason for saying yes or no. Then tick yes or no, whichever is proper. One. Do you have a separate room for sleep and study? Two. Would you prefer to live in a joint family? Do you get on with people? Four. Do you like the area you live in? Page ninety-five. Five. Do you find the place overcrowded? Six. Do you use public transport? Seven. Would you like a vehicle of our own? Eight. Do you like reading? Nine. Would you like to be a teacher, doctor, engineer, or architect? The answer has to be given in yes or no. C. Now that you have completed the project, write a brief report stating what you did, how you did it, and the conclusion. Dictation. Your teacher will speak the words here. Write against each word of opposite meaning. Write against each a word of opposite meaning. For example, liquid, solid, hard, soft. One, old. Two, wet. Three, open. Four, blunt. Five, forget. You have to write the opposite meaning of.